well, Ian, it's been almost a couple of weeks since since the managerial change. Now, uh, do you feel that things are settling down now to to a more sort of uh, normal way of things? Yeah, I think I said in my, my previous uh, impress that the weekend the gaffer went, it was tough. Uh, but then by the Monday, you've got to get back into your routine again and start thinking about the club and results and performances. So, like I say, I think um, I think having that game helps now and then we're just into a routine now of preparing for the next game. How did you feel before the Colchester game and how did you feel after it? Um, I think leading into it, I was quite confident with we're watching what the players done on the training ground and how they prepared and confident going into the game. Like I said, after the game, we're all disappointed, players included, that we didn't get the win because, like I say, we're Tramley and we should be going to win there and that's what we plan to do. But um, look at the bigger picture. I thought the performance was very good, so so much to pick from it and be positive about. And like I say, this week we tried to build on that. Yeah, and how pleased were you with the with the system that you introduced there with that diamond uh, system? Yeah, it was because it's a it's a it's a tough system to adapt to for the players. It's it's quite new. It's um, a lot of the detail you've got to get right. And in the previous game, we, we worked a lot of our in possession stuff, building and getting comfortable possession over the halfway line, and then building into the final third, which I thought we'd done really well. Um, and then the next step of that is then once once we're in them areas, the pitches and the movements and the decision making from there, which hopefully we'll add to. But we still need to be good at that as well. Yeah. So, are you? Is that is that a system that you're going to keep with now for the foreseeable? Well, I don't want to give it away too much, <laughs> but anyone who knows uh, what I've done previously with the group and that is, it is a system I, I like to play. It, it gets you lots of passing options and gets the players playing and dominating the ball. So, yeah, there is a system I like. It's a system that's um, it's got a lot of detail in it for the players in and out of possession that we've got to get right. So. Um, like I say, so far the players have picked it up really well. Yeah, I was going to say, has that been you know what you've been working on intensely? Uh, you know, when you bring in a new system like that on the training ground, you have to really sort of ham- hammer all the fine details of it home. Yeah, it's also as well. It's it's picking what to work on because there's so much to work on with it. Um, if this was a, a normal situation in a club, you'd have six weeks of pre-season plus to work on it. But we're trying to get things in in six working days really of work. We had three days training last week, three days this week of work because of how the games have fell. So. Like I say, there's a lot to put into it. It's picking out what we feel is important in it and getting that out. How's the squad looking for this game against Harrogate now? Because we know you've got a lot of injury problems at the moment. How, how are you uh, looking for this one? Um, we're glad to have Kane back in the squad. He's going to be back in the squad for the weekend. Um, so he'll be a big plus. Um, unfortunately, Joe Murphy's had, um, had bad news about his injury um, that he picked up on Saturday. So he won't be... He won't be in the next couple of games and it'll be monitored after that. But other than that, it's the same group from the weekend. Yeah, bad news about Joe, but really good news about Kane, obviously, because you know he's a goal scorer and any team would, would miss a play like that. Yeah, I mean I mean it's not it's no secret that we've been hit hard with injuries. Really hard. Like I know I know some teams get hit, but we've had a lot of key players to us be injured and out, out for the season. So Listen, we, we've not moaned and groaned about it. We've not made a massive deal of it. we just got to crack on. And them players who who have been in the squad have now got the opportunity to perform, which they, which I thought they did on Saturday. And you brought in uh, Flo, you know, Flora and Hottie from our growth, I think it was. So where does he fit into things at the moment? So Flo being with us for the last four to five weeks, the gaffer had brought him in on, on trial and we were closely monitoring him. And um, he's a good player, he can handle the ball. It looks like he could play in this system. He's played this system before when he was a youth team player at Rochdale, so he knows he knows a little bit of a, a foundation on how to play it. He's a good lad, and we think he'll help in the squad moving forward to the end of the season. And it's Friday night football as well coming back uh, for the Harrogate game. Is that something you enjoy and the players enjoy? Yeah, I mean, it's got that extra edge, hasn't it, Sammy? Historically, Friday nights under the lights, it's, um, it's part of the club's history, and it's always got that um, extra feel about it um, the, the home crowd's always great but that Friday night like I say so just got that extra edge about it and I think the players feel like they're ready and it's a big game for us tomorrow tomorrow night against Harrogate who will test how we play because Harrogate are one of them teams that will get after you they'll go and press you they'll be aggressive they'll put the ball on you so we've got to be at our best tomorrow to go and beat them Harrogate got a win last time out which has just given them a bit of breathing space near the, the bottom half of the table but for Tranmere what is the motivation now between now and the end of the season? Because we've talked about the playoffs over the last few months, but it, you know, at the moment it looks like it's maybe a, a bridge too far with games running out. Is that the way you see it? No, no. The way I see it is that you, you're wearing a, a Tramia kit 
the motivation is going to win for the club because that's the demand of the club. It's the demands the staff have, the club has, the, the owner and the chairman have. And um, it's the demands the players have got to be fair. They know the, they know the expectation of the club. Um, we're disappointed with the league position that we're in at the moment as a group. But every game means everything to us. It, it, there's no there's no game that doesn't mean anything to us. And the fans will feel like that. The fans will be turning up and expecting to win and wanting to win. So we've got to give them something to be happy about.